The end of May had come, and I could hardly wait to return to my home on the rocky coast of Maine. It is a long journey, and I was weary when my car came to a halt in the driveway. I turned off the motor, rolled down the window, and breathed in the fresh scent of pine and sea air. How good it was to be with nature again. As soon as I left my car, I noticed three chipmunk holes in the driveway near my front tire. Gracious, I cried. I might have driven right over them. No need to worry, a friend assured me. Chipmunks always have several escape routes, just in case one of their tunnel entrances should collapse. The following morning, I was determined to catch a glimpse of a chipmunk climbing out of one of those holes. I positioned myself under a pine tree at a safe distance and was prepared to wait for a long time. But to my surprise, a little striped head suddenly popped out and looked all around, as if to say, Hello, world. Little did I know, this was the beginning of a long friendship. Belinda, as I decided to call her, soon made herself known everywhere. She must have thought, for example, that bird feeders are really for chipmunks. In the process of vacuuming it clean to the very last seed, she took delight in acrobatic stunts, first swinging from her front paws, then hanging upside down from her back. Belinda, I said to her lovingly, besides giving you the biggest appetite in the rodent kingdom, Nature has certainly made you the best trapeze artist in the world. I often sit outside by the cliff's edge and lose myself in the glorious view. The sun glistening on the ocean and the waves crashing on the rocks below. To my left is a table on which I keep books, paper, pencils, and of course, a jar of birdseed. One day I accidentally left the jar uncovered. Nothing ever escaped Belinda's notice. In a flash, she hopped onto the table and just as quickly came to a halt when she saw the jar. That's the strangest looking chipmunk feeder I ever saw, she seemed to be thinking. I wonder if it's safe. But curiosity got the better of her, and in one leap she was perched on the thin rim of the jar. Never one to be modest about her acrobatic skills, Belinda proudly balanced herself and wondered whether or not she should take the plunge. Belinda didn't wait too long, though. Grasping the rim of the jar with her five tiny toes on her hind legs, she dove in head first and gorged herself to her heart's content. Why do you look so surprised, she seemed to say. Headstands are all in a day's work. As I watched Belinda repeatedly fill her pouches with bird seed, run back to her home where she stored it, and then return to the jar again, I noticed that the level of bird seed would soon be too low for her to reach. On one of her trips to her granary, therefore, I tipped the jar over on its side. When Belinda returned to the table and saw what I had done, she stood motionless on her hind legs and looked at me with the most tender expression. That was very nice of you, her eyes seemed to say. Thank you. Thank you.
The jar was all aglow with sunlight, and Belinda looked radiant inside it. If ever a chipmunk entered heaven itself, it must surely have been Belinda. At times, the jar would roll across the table with Belinda inside of it. This was hardly the ideal way for a chipmunk to gather her winter's supply of food. With a little persuasion on my part, she allowed me to hold the jar for her as she stuffed her pouches to overflowing. Now and then she would pause, back up out of the jar, and simply look at me with a loving smile. As the summer grew longer, Belinda became more and more affectionate. Because the jar offered her no direct contact with me, she soon preferred instead to vacuum the bird seed right out of my palm. Never once did she scratch me, nor did she ever mistake my finger for a sunflower seed. In fact, everything about her behavior pointed to one thing. She trusted me as one would a dear friend. One morning, Belinda leapt bravely onto my shoulder. From that moment on, this became her favorite place to feed. So deep was her trust in me that she felt perfectly safe with her back turned towards me. Often she would wiggle and squirm until her haunches were tucked snugly under my chin. My affection for this precious creature, and hers for me, deepened as the summer wore on. If the jar is your heaven, I told her one day, then you are one of heaven's angels. After a while, it became clear that Belinda was behaving like a household pet. My whistle brought her rushing out of her burrow and onto my shoulder in a flash. I scratched her behind the ears, I teasingly but gently pulled her tail, and I even sang songs to her, all the while bouncing her up and down according to the rhythm. One day, I became very human indeed and planted a kiss right on her haunches. 
Obviously puzzled by this new sensation, she paused for a moment, snuggled ever more tightly under my chin, and went right on to eating. The fall season comes quite suddenly, and Belinda stayed longer and longer in her burrow. Did you know that chipmunks build luxurious homes for themselves? There is a nesting chamber, two or three storage chambers, and as many as eight smaller rooms. And that is not all. Since they construct tunnels that can actually reach 100 feet in length, chipmunks also build galleries along the way called side pockets. Belinda, then, was living in an underground mansion, one that is the envy of all other creatures. As I packed my car for my return to New York, I felt comforted to know that Belinda would be safe and warm throughout the winter. I knew one other thing, too. She had the biggest supply of bird seed in all of Chipmunkdom. As I entered the car to leave, Belinda suddenly leapt out of one of her holes. I could tell by her expression that she sensed my departure and simply wanted to send a farewell chirp. Be a good girl, I told her and I promise to return next summer with a fresh supply of birdseed. Take care of yourself, dear friend. I'll think of you often. As the car rolled out of the driveway, Belinda flashed me the saddest smile and disappeared into the earth.